Keep is available in three versions, Light, Pro, and Max. Each version builds upon the previous to give you a more tailored solution to meet your growing business needs. For a quick overview of the specific features available in each version, click this link to view our pricing page. In this demo, we'll be looking at Keep Max so I can show you all the available features, and I'll be sure to point out which features are specific to Pro and Max. Also in this demo, we'll be using a fictitious consulting business called Casey Hayes Consulting. Let's start in the Home section. This gives you access to Getting Started and your dashboard. Getting Started is a collection of articles and videos to help you start setting things up. Just choose the task you want to focus on and you can start watching videos and reading articles. The dashboard is your central hub containing widgets designed to provide access to important information regarding your business and quick access to accomplish some of the most common tasks. You can customize your dashboard by clicking on the More Info button on any widget. From here, you can click Manage Widgets to turn on or off specific widgets, or you can click Move Widgets and then click and drag to move them around to your preferred configuration. Each user in your Keep app can customize their own dashboard. Let's take a closer look at each widget. The first eight widgets are called Growth Widgets. These widgets report crucial metrics for your business and can help you identify where you need to focus on to continue to grow your business. You can interact with these widgets too. For example, you can click the plus icon to add a new record, change the default time frame, or cycle through various options on some widgets. Along with all of your growth widgets, you have a recent activity widget which shows you a chronological list of the most recent communications and tasks that you've completed. You can click on one of these events to go directly to the contact record and view that activity. The Google Business Review widget will show you the latest Google reviews your business has received, as well as your overall Google review score. If you want to request one of your contacts to give you a review, click the Request Review button, choose the contact, and click the Send button. The Copy Link button will copy the link so you can paste it into a text message or onto a social media post. The Task widget allows you quick access to upcoming and past due tasks. You can also quickly add a new task by clicking on the Add Item button. Tasks include a title, a due date and time, a reminder option, the instructions of the task, the contact the task is associated with, and the user in your app the task is assigned to. To complete the task, just check the box. The Appointments widget shows your upcoming appointments for the next seven days and the contacts associated with those appointments. If you click View All, you'll be taken to your Calendar and Appointment Booking Setup page. We have a free consultation appointment with Thomas Cash at 11 a.m. Let's click on this appointment to view some details about Thomas. We'll go into much more details about appointments later in the video, but let's take a deeper look at contact records in Keep. This is Thomas's contact record. In the center panel, you'll see the basic contact details, along with some quick action buttons so we can interact with Thomas. From here, we can send a text message, an email, add a tag or note to his record, create a new task, and there are many more options available as well. The text option requires the Keep Business Line app that you can download for your Android or Apple device. You'll be assigned a new business phone number, or you can port an existing number over so that you can separate your business line with your personal line. To learn more about the Keep Mobile app and the Keep Business Line, click here. If we look at the Contact Activity section, we can click on various categories, such as emails or text messages, to see our correspondence with Thomas. Note that there are a lot of categories of information that we can look at here. If you just want to find the most recent activity on a record, just click the clock icon, and it will show you correspondence in chronological order, starting with the most recent. On the right side of the page, we have the Contact Info section, which contains more detailed information about the contact. For example, we can see that Thomas is associated with the business Spencer, Inc. You can click on the business name to learn more about that business. We have three contacts associated with this business, and we can add another contact here. We've collected some information about this business, such as that they sell corporate gifts. We have the phone number of the business, and we set up a custom field called Annual Revenue. To add more details or edit the company record, just click the Edit button. You can see the custom field that we created, and where to add a new custom field. We'll go into more details about custom fields when we look at Thomas's contact record. So let's go back to Thomas's contact record. 
Clicking the Edit button will give you access to all the available contact record fields, as well as the ability to create custom fields on the fly to store information about the contacts that are unique to your business. Let's create a new custom field called Hobbies and Interests so that we can start collecting and storing this information during our conversations. Click Add Custom Field. We'll name it Hobbies and Interests. And we'll choose the text area field type. And optionally, we can select the Always Shown box to make sure this field is always shown when viewing the details of any contact record. Now click Create Field. Perfect. This custom field is now available on all contact records in our system and will be automatically shown in the Contact Info section if the field contains data. Now that we've covered the basics of the contact record, let's take a look at how you can manually add and import contact records into Keep. While in the Contacts section, click the People button, and from here you can add contacts individually or import them from an external source. To add them individually, click the Add Contacts button or the plus icon. You'll be presented with a standard contact entry form, but you can create your own custom entry form by clicking the drop down at the top and selecting your own form. Or you can click Manage Internal Forms to set up a brand new internal form that will be available from this drop down. To import contacts from an external source, click the Import Contacts button. There are several options to choose from, such as syncing your Google contacts, importing from another CRM service, or simply importing your own CSV or Excel file. Prior to importing contacts, make sure you look through this list thoroughly to find the most optimal method for you. Let's talk more about forms found in the marketing section of the main menu. You can create both internal forms and public forms. Internal forms are used when you're manually adding a new contact record inside of Keep, as mentioned previously. And public forms are forms that you'll post onto your website, landing pages, or our self-hosted option that users will fill out themselves. The Casey Hayes Consulting website has a public form embedded on the home page. Let's take a look how this is set up and how we can automate some tasks when the form is submitted. Let's take a look at the home page contact form. At the top of the form setup page, you'll see that there are four steps to setting up a form. Building the form, styling it, adding automation, and then publishing it. In the building section, we can add new fields, reorder them, delete them from the form, toggle whether a field is required or not, and even add helper text to provide more context or instructions to a specific field. Let's create a new custom drop-down field called How Did You Hear About Us so that we can start collecting this information on the contact record when the form is submitted. Click Create New Field and we'll name it How Did You Hear About Us. We'll choose the drop-down field type and add our options. The settings checkbox will let you change the default value of the drop-down. We'll just leave this unchecked so that there is no default option selected. And optionally, we can check the Always Shown box to make sure this field is always shown when viewing the details of a contact record. Now click Create Field. When you're finished building your form, click the Next button to apply any styling changes. On this page, we can choose to display our company logo as well as make any color changes to the form background or submit button. Click Next to start adding some automation. Let's send the contact a follow-up email. Click on Send a Contact a Follow-up Email. So when the form is submitted, then Keep will wait 48 hours and send the follow-up email. Click Then, and click the Edit icon to make any changes to the email. Click Next to make any changes to the timer. Click Next, and then click Done. Click Preview to see your automation flow, and when you're ready, click Publish. You can also set up your own custom automation. Just click the Create Custom Automation button, select Then to customize what happens after the form is submitted, and you can choose from an existing list of automations such as sending a test message or sending yourself a notification that will alert you on your smartphone when someone submits the form. When you're finished setting up your automation, click the Next button. Here you'll be given a link to your form that is hosted by Keep, or you can grab the HTML embed code to post it to your website. Since we're updating an already embedded form, our changes will be applied to our website in real time. Another way of collecting leads is to set up a landing page. 
A landing page is a web page created for a specific marketing endeavor in order to collect leads or generate an immediate sale. The landing page builder lets you choose from a gallery of templates and lets you customize it for your business. In this example, we have a landing page to promote a free consultation with our appointment booking module embedded on the page. You can create as many landing pages as you wish to promote and sell various products and services. Let's talk a bit more about booking appointments. When you first set up Keep, you'll have the option to sync either your Gmail and Google Calendar or Outlook and Outlook Calendar with Keep. An important part of Casey's business is allowing users to book appointments on our calendar, so let's show you how that works. To set up a new appointment type, go to the My Days section. You can set up multiple appointment types and configure each one individually. Click the plus icon, give it a unique name. You can optionally change the URL of the booking page to include your business name instead of your personal name. Specify if this is an online, phone, or in-person meeting. Keep has a free Zoom integration that will automatically create and manage each individual meeting link for you. Click Next to set the duration of the appointment type. Any optional buffer time you want in between appointments. And your available time frames for each day. Click Next to add any meeting instructions that will be visible on the booking page after they book their appointment. Click Next to start adding automation. Just like when setting up an internal or public web form, you can create automations to notify you when the appointment is booked and send them a customized email, a text message, an alert on your mobile device, and more. Once it's all set up, you can send someone a link to your booking page or embed it into a landing page as you saw earlier or embed it directly onto your website. Casey also sends email and text message broadcasts to her contacts to promote her services and stay in touch. In the comms section, you can view and send individual text messages to contacts under the call and text section. Just select the contact and start typing your message. You can add images, a booking link, your contact info, or you can select from a pre-made template or create your own custom template. In the Email Broadcast section, you can see a list of broadcasts that you've sent previously, along with statistics about open rates and click rates. You can click into one of these past broadcasts to get even more analytics. To create a new email broadcast, just click the Create Broadcast button and select Email. You can select from a wide variety of pre-made templates that you can customize, a template that you've saved earlier, or a previously sent email, or you can continue working on a draft that you started earlier. Customizing your email is as easy as dragging and dropping elements onto the page. When you're finished, just click the Next Send button to specify who the email should be sent from, the contacts that you want to send to, and a subject line and preview text. And finally, you can specify when you want to send it. Another method Casey uses to promote her services is to send a text message broadcast. Sending a text message broadcast is easy. Just select Text Message from the drop-down and give it an internal name. Choose who you want to send it to and compose your message. Don't forget to personalize the message by merging in their contact information, such as their name. You can also choose from an existing template or set up a brand new text message template. We've even included a handy URL shortener so that your message looks cleaner and more inviting to interact with. Each version of Keep comes with an allotment of free text messages you can send per month, and then you'll be charged four cents for each additional message. To learn more about text message marketing, including rates, click this link now. I've already shown you quite a bit about automation, but let's take a closer look at the automation section in Keep. There is easy automation and advanced automation. Advanced automation is only available in Pro and Max. When you click Easy Automation, you'll be able to see all the automations that you set up in your Keep app. If you have a lot of automations and need to find a specific one, you can filter the results. And then clear the filter when you're finished. 
On the right side of the page, you'll find some starter automations that you can start using now, or you can click the plus icon and start building your own from scratch. Let's build a new simple automation to automate some events when someone purchases one of Casey's services. So when a purchase is made, and we can select any purchase or the purchase of a specific product, let's just say any product or service, then we want to send ourselves a notification. We'll send a desktop and a mobile notification. The subject line will say new purchase, and the content will say first name, last name, made a purchase. and click Next, and we'll choose Immediate. And then I want to send an email to the customer thanking them. So we'll create a new email and then send that immediately as well. And then click Next. And we can continue to add further automations at this point. Click Preview when you're finished configuring the automation and Publish when you're ready for it to go live. As mentioned earlier, advanced automations are available in Pro and Max and allow much more sophisticated automations. For example, Casey has a web form on our website's Contact Us page that contains a drop-down for the user to select their industry. In Casey's example, she has separate nurture sequences for these specific industries and wants to customize her marketing message based on the industry chosen in the drop-down. So in advanced automation, we have the web form, and when it is submitted, we want to create separate paths for the users to follow based on the drop-down. A decision diamond allows us to do just that. So if the contacts custom field industry equals e-commerce, the contact will be moved to the e-commerce sequence. From there, you can build out each marketing sequence to include emails, text messages, as well as many other internal processes. And this is just a simple example of something you can do when a web form is submitted. Advanced automations give you access to build automation when a specific link in an email is clicked, when an email is open, when a tag is applied, and so much more. The sales section is where you go to set up and send quotes, invoices, recurring payments, and if you have Pro or Max, you'll have access to pipelines and checkout forms. The quote section allows you to quickly add a new quote or check the status of existing quotes, make any changes to quotes, or resend them to the client. You can also convert a quote to an invoice. The invoices section allows you to send an invoice, review existing invoices, or add a payment to an invoice. In the recurring payments section, you can set up a recurring charge that will be billed on whatever frequency that you select. Let's take a look at checkout forms available in Pro and Max. Checkout forms are online sales pages that you can quickly set up and start using to collect payments. Similar to setting up a web form, you have the instructions on the left and a live preview of the form on the right. You simply add your products or multiple products, and only available in Max are two other options, to add upsells and to set up your own custom discount promo codes. In the Fields section, you can add contact record fields to collect, and just like a web form, you can customize the background and submit button. And now it's ready to share. You can use the key posted link or embed it onto a landing page or into your website. Casey's business has been growing, so she hired a small sales team to help her work leads. This is a perfect time to start utilizing pipelines in her business. A pipeline is typically used by a sales team to track a deal through a predefined sales and fulfillment process. You can set up as many pipelines as you wish, as different products may have different sales processes. A pipeline consists of a series of stages that you customize. In this case, new lead, qualified lead, and so on. And the individual deals that your team members are working on are located under each stage. A deal consists of the name of the deal, the value of the deal, the contact or contacts associated with the deal, your team members that are working the deal, an estimated close date, options to add notes and send emails from the deal, and a deal activity history. To progress a deal from one stage to another, just click and drag the deal to the next appropriate stage. A powerful tool when working with pipelines is to use automation when a deal moves from one stage to another. Let's go ahead and add a new automation when a deal is moved into the new lead stage. Click Automate Stage, 
select when a deal enters stage and it's the new lead stage which is correct so click next that looks good so we'll click done and then next and we want to send them an email thanking them for their interest in our services we can now finish the process and publish it note that there is now a green icon on the stage giving you a visual indicator that there's automation attached to the stage so if you forget what the automation does or want to edit the automation in the future, just click that icon. The reports section gives you many types of reports to help you better manage your sales and marketing activities. Each report gives you access to advanced search criteria to help you find exactly what you're looking for. Reports are broken up into general sales reports and reports to help you keep an eye on various marketing efforts. And finally, we have Analytics, which is only available in Macs. Analytics is an advanced reporting tool to help you visualize your sales and marketing efforts so you can get a better understanding of what efforts are working and what you should focus on next. Thank you for watching this demo. If you have any questions, please reach out to our sales team at 1-866-800-0004. We'd love to hear from you.